CSCS working at height test, 12 questions. Question 1. All of the following statements are true about using podium steps except A. You must ensure the wheels are locked before getting on. B. Podiums are 100% safe and cannot topple over. C. Like all other equipment podiums must be inspected regularly. D. Podiums can topple over so you must take care when reaching sideways. Question 1 Answer B. Podiums are 100% safe and cannot topple over. Question 2. What is the leading cause of death among construction workers? A. Being hit by vehicles on site. B. Leptospirosis. C. Falling from height. D. Electrocution. Question 2 Answer C. Falling from height. Question 3. Which of these statements is true about using ladders? A. Only one person should work on a ladder. B. Two people can work on the same ladder if it is long enough. C. Two people can work on the same ladder if the supervisor approves. D. Two people can work on the same ladder only if someone else holds the ladder. Question 3 Answer A. Only one person should work on a ladder. Question 4. What should you do if the ladder you're about to use is damaged? A. Carry on using the ladder but stay away from the damaged section. B. Try to fix the ladder yourself. C. Put the ladder in a corner and leave it there. D. Stop using it, report it and let your colleagues know the ladder is not safe. Question 4 Answer D. Stop using it, report it and let your colleagues know the ladder is not safe. Question 5. What should you do if you need to use a mobile tower scaffold but the wheel brakes aren't working? A. Ask a colleague to hold the tower while you work. B. Carry on using it only if the floor is level. C. Use a rock or a piece of wood to wedge the wheels and stop them from moving. D. Do not use it. Question 5 Answer. D. Do not use it. Question 6. Ladders should never be painted because A. The paint causes the ladder to become slippery. B. The paint can hide or mask damaged parts of the ladder. C. You will need to repaint the ladder regularly. D. The paint could cause a distraction to the person using the ladder. Question 6 Answer B. The paint can hide or mask damaged parts of the ladder. Question 7. Which of these statements is true about storing materials on a working platform? A. Unsecured materials can be stored as long as they are above the guardrail height. B. The materials only need securing if it's going to be there overnight. C. The materials don't need to be secured if they're going to be there less than 6 hours. D. You must ensure the platform can take the weight of the materials and the materials must be stored securely so they can't fall. Question 7 Answer D. You must ensure the platform can take the weight of the materials and the materials must be stored securely so they can't fall. Question 8. The best way to ensure a ladder is secure and won't slip is to A. Tie it at the bottom. B. Tie it at the top. C. Have a colleague hold it while you work. D. Use a piece of wood to wedge the bottom. Question 8 Answer B. Tie it at the top. Question 9. Which of these best describes working at height? A. 5 meters above the ground. B. 6 meters above the ground. C. 10 meters above the ground. D. Any height above or below ground level that can cause an injury if you fall. Question 9 Answer. D. Any height above or below ground level that can cause an injury if you fall. Question 10. How many points of contact should you have with a ladder at all times? A. 4. B. 1. C. 3. D. 2. Question 10 Answer. C. 3. 
Question 11. Which of these would you not put a mobile tower scaffold on? A. An abandoned parking lot. B. A concrete walkway. C. An uneven playground. D. An asphalt road. Question 11. Answer. C. An uneven playground. Question 12. Checking a ladder before use should be done by A. Your supervisor. B. Your health and safety rep. C. The person about to use it. D. The safe manager. Question 12 Answer. C. The person about to use it.